In this video, we will look at how to scale your Redis cluster horizontally using uh, KubeDB. So uh, let's look at the YAML we will be deploying to scale your Redis cluster. So uh, this is the YAML we can use to scale the database. So here API version is ops.kubedb.com slash v1 alpha 1 kind is Redis ops request. And in the metadata section, we have a name and namespace. So the name of the ops request is uh, here we will be scaling up. So the name is uh, horizontal scale up and the namespace is demo. So uh, the ops request should be the same namespace as the database. So in the spec section, we have type horizontal scaling and uh, database reference is Redis cluster. And in the horizontal scaling field, we can set any master and replica we want. So here we have we set uh, four master and the replica count is two. So let's look at my workstation. So here you can see I have already deployed a Redis cluster with uh, three master and three replica. So you can see there is uh, six nodes and uh, three master and three replica and uh, Redis version is 5.0.3 V1 and the state is ready. So uh, in the current configuration, there is a uh, three master and three replica. So you want to update the master uh, to four and the replica to four. So that means that we are updating a shard and in each shard, we want to add one more replica. So let's apply the YAML. Okay, as you can see, uh, I had the a ops request is created in uh, here, horizontal scale up and it is in progressing state and new nodes are being add added. And here you can see our database stage is critical. So that means that uh, database is, the cluster is forming and uh, then some of the replica is finding its master. So uh, meanwhile, uh, when these obstacles become uh, successful, uh, until then, let's have a look what's happening under the hood. So here uh, we already have a Redis uh, object that is created by community operator. So then we create a Redis ops request object and this ops request object is watched by Redis ops manager operator. And it, this Redis ops request object refers to a particular database so ops manager operator will pause the database so that the community operator cannot do any operation on that database. After that, it will uh, create or delete a stateful set according to your need. So if you want to scale up, it will create the new stateful set and pause. If you want to update cluster, uh, the stateful set will create it. If you want to only update replica, new pod will be added to existing stateful set. And similarly, when you want to delete uh, shard, a stateful set will be deleted. And uh, when you want to delete the replica, only the ports from the stateful set will be deleted. So after the stateful set is updated according to the new request, our ops manager operator will update the cluster. And after that, the ops request is successful and ops manager operator will resume the database. So let's have a look there. Yeah, so as you can see, we have uh, the database phase is ready and the ops request is successful. We have successfully added a new shard and uh, we have added uh, three new, uh, four new replica in each of the shard. So let's have a look at uh, one of the pod to see how things are there. So uh, we want to see how many nodes are there. You can see there is a total 12 nodes. So let's see how many masters are there. Yeah, so as you can see, there is four master and each master is serving some slots. So, you know, in Redis, we have uh, 16,384 slots. So all the shards covered those slots. So when we add a new shard, this shard should uh, serve some slot. Otherwise, it is meaningless to add a new shard. So when we add a new shard, it takes some slots away from the existing shard and uh, serve these slots. Here you can see this is the uh, master we have added. So it has taken some uh, some slots from this node and some some slots from shard one, some slots from shard zero and some slots from shard two. So uh, it is, uh, so the amount of shard each one serving is uh, always almost same. So here you can see you have, I have, uh, we have successfully added a new shard and we have added uh, one new replica to each of the shard. So uh, in, in this way, you can scale up and down your database according to your need without uh, losing any data. So with that, uh, we, will, uh, we will talk about uh, scaling vertically in the next video. Thank you.